amazing buys where we discuss shopping fragrance and do reviews if you haven't already go ahead and hit the notification bell like and subscribe and let's get started i kind of just woke up from a nap so <laughs> you'll have to excuse me but i do want to talk about two fragrances that i showed you in a short this morning that is the new libra franker that is the new libra frank that is the new libra flankers so i'm gonna start off with the one that already came out a while ago which is the absolute platine and then we'll get into the 2024 one later on i actually smelled this a long time ago in dillard's and sephora like months ago i just didn't get around to making a video and doing a review on it so i'm trying to think if i talked about it during a walkthrough video but Regardless, I'm going to talk about it again. All right, so this is in the floral fragrance category. It's the scent type warm florals, which I don't agree with, but I'll get into that in a little bit. The notes for this is White Lavender Accord, Orange Blossom, and Diva Lavender. I'm shocked about this. I did not get that when I smelled this. By the way, Sephora has the Travel Spray, which is the .34 ounce, going for $35. They have the 1.7 ounce going for $162, and then they have the 3 ounce going for $195. Fruit fly, get away from me. <laughs> okay, so like I said, I disagree with the fragrance family. I disagree with the scent type. Completely disagree. I literally, when I first spray this, I get a metallic scent, and I'm not saying that just because of the bottle. It smells like a metallic, like a wet metal scent. If you're familiar with like rain type of fragrances or like that wet asphalt type of, of smell or like, I don't know. It almost smells like when it's a, you know, like when it's about to rain, you'll get that smell outside, but it's not as deep and like humid and musky as that. I feel like it does have florals, but it's way in the background. I can't pinpoint what floral it is, but overall to me, that's what it smells like. It smells like, uh, it smells metallic, <laughs> like wet, metal, airy. Now, is this unisex? I don't know because it says a floral perfume for women, but I honestly think that this could pass as a unisex scent. And I feel like it's a tiny bit feminine leaning, but overall, like I wouldn't personally wear it. I feel like a guy could pull this off, no problem. So that's just my opinion. I know there's some people that really love this fragrance and more power to you. I always tell you guys, buy whatever you love. But for me, um, yeah, to me, this is a no, I wouldn't get this. Now let's get into the new 2024 flanker. I feel like I'm getting so tongue-tied when I say this. But anyways, that is Libra Flowers and Flames EDP. This is in the fresh category. The scent type says fresh florals. And the key notes are palm tree flower accord, lily flower accord, and orange blossom absolute. Which again, I don't agree with. <laughs> but um, this for sure... To me, this is a very warm fragrance. It is ambery. Like, I know, like, I get why they call it flower and flames. Like, you, it smells floral. It does have a muskiness to it. And maybe it says fresh because it's a lot fresher than the original or other Libra flankers, whichever intensity that you like. Because I feel like Libra has a reputation of being a musky mature scent. This one doesn't have that deep musky mature scent. So maybe that's what they mean by fresh. Maybe this is fresh to the YSL brand, but it still does have a muskiness to it. So like I said, florals, I couldn't pinpoint what type of florals that, I'm, that I was smelling but it has like a warmness to it. It has a ambery -ness to it. And there's musk in there, but it's a light musk. So this was something like if you are always used to smelling like Libra and all the flankers or whatever, 
this could be refreshing compared to those. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Like I said, um, I know it has that reputation of being mature. But this one, I feel like if you don't like those, try this one. Because, I don't know, I was just shocked about it. I was like, I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting that deep, deep, deep muskiness that Libra has. But, I don't know. I, I would personally... I think I may wear this. Is it something that's my favorite? No, but compared to the other Libras, I actually like this one. So this is something that is coming soon to Sephora, actually um, July 30th, but you can already test it out or buy it from Dillard's and other stores. So check that out. But yeah, I, I think they did a good job. This is something that's different. And I feel like you can pull this off during the day. This doesn't necessarily have to be a night scent. I feel like the deep muskiness of Libra, like obviously you can wear it any time of day. I just feel like it would go great at nighttime because of the muskiness in it. But this one, I feel like flowers and flame daytime. The other Libra is nighttime. That's just my opinion. Let's see. Travel spray. 0.33 ounce is going for 35, one ounce is going for 95, and the three ounce will be 165. This is Sephora's prices. Again, it's not out yet at Sephora. That is coming July 30th, which is in two days. So let me know in the comment section if you are interested in this. Do I smell orange blossom in there? I feel like I do. I feel like I do a little bit, but it's not overpowering. The florals are mixed, mixed throughout. And like I said, it does have a spiciness to it. Look, even in the fragrance description, it says a warm and sensual sun kiss interpretation of the iconic Libra. I feel like that is a good description of it. At the heart, this fragrance blooms a sun-kissed and creamy cocoa palm tree flower melted with a spicy and solar lily flower. Like I said, I couldn't really pinpoint. Maybe the orange blossom, if anything. Beneath this blazing floral blast, rich vanilla adds warmth and an unforgettable long-lasting effect. So vanilla isn't listed in there, but it is in the fragrance description. Like I said, um, this isn't something I would say this overly sweet. The main thing that I'm getting is a warm, ambery, floral scent with some spiciness to it not pepper just something the the spicy goes with the ambery note in there that is my opinion on those two fragrances Absolute platine and libre flowers and flame i don't really like the platine one but i will say i do recommend at least trying the flowers and flame simply because you know it's a lot different than the original libre and I think I kind of, I feel like it's okay. I personally like it than the other Libras. All right. So that is it for my review. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, have fun, stay blessed, and happy shopping. Bye.